the first motivation for investigating transposon based CAR T cells was just their simplicity and cost effectiveness. And what's more, when we started our CAR T project in Japan, we had uh, strict regulation issues for using vowel vectors in the GMP facilities. So our team leader, Dr. Yozo Nakazawa, was a pioneer of piggyback transposon based CAR T cells. And he established the engineering techniques at Baylor College of Medicine in the US and brought them back to Japan. And we have been improving our techniques more to increase the transfection efficiency of the car transgene into T cells. And we got promising results. In fact, uh, our PEVAC car T cells showed a memory rich phenotype with less exhaustion, regardless of the type of car transgene. Then um, we eventually realized that in the manufacturing of transposon-based CAR T cells, we can avoid some key steps that may induce T cell differentiation and exhaustion. For example, uh, basically we don't use pre-activation step of T cells. Uh, we just use resting T cells to prevent the exhaustion of T cells by intense stimulation with CD3 antibodies. In most preclinical studies, uh, we use hyperactive mutated piggyback transposase to increase the transgene copies, but we are using the original version of transposase to reduce the excess integration to the genome. And the T cells could be damaged and susceptible to activation induced cell death by the stimulation after electroporation. So we use antigen-presenting fetal cells instead of CD3 antibodies. And we also use IL-7 and IL-15 to support the expansion of electroporated T cells. So this, this kind of um, modification is just a part of our modification for making paper CAR T cells, but we believe our CAR T cell characteristics would be beneficial for treating cancers.